Bebe. It's Monday night, you know what that means, it's me, it's me, it's Michael B, and welcome to another episode of that, <laughs> I was going to say chill and chat, but it's actually last week, <laughs> just kidding, chill and chat with Michael B, and we're going to take a look at all the news and notes and rumors going on in the home arcade community right now, because there are rumors abound about Arcade 1UP at a time when we thought they were all dead. Looks like they got a lot of shit going on. We've got a Golden Tea Deluxe that's possibly coming out. We've got new rumors about a track and field because of a very reasonably priced stool on Walmart.com. Plus, we got a ton of news and notes about the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP. Gottlieb tables are coming soon. Maybe there's a pinball net delay. Snoopy shipping. So much stuff happening. This should be a hell of a fun show, and I'll be making fun of 19K Fox a little bit. Stick right with me. It's Chillin' Chat with Michael B. Alright guys, so just one second. I've got the wrong mic on apparently. Nope, I've got the right mic on. Hopefully it sounds okay. Uh, it says it's my Yeti X, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Or maybe it's a little bit too low. Uh, I don't know. Can you guys hear me okay? Please tell me if you can hear me okay. I saw someone say wrong mic, Mike. And now I'm completely, uh, completely weirded out by this. Sounds horrible? Hold on. Sounds like it's not picking up. Hold on. This is the worst. The worst. Very tinny. Okay, hold on. How about now? Is that any better? Damn it. <laughs> First time I unplugged this mic in a very long time. It sounds arena-like. How about now? It's not the usual quality. Oh, man, this is the worst. Better. Good. Good. Rocking and rolling. Anyways, guys, I apologize about the way my mic sounded. And also, that was kind of a clunky intro. In fact, you guys have told me my intros aren't up to snuff. Lucky enough, I brought somebody in who's an intro expert. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn the floor over to him. And let's get this party started right. Get ready for a drilling and fuel journey through the latest releases, classic favorites, and everything in between. Step into the world of gaming excellence with Michael B, the Game Genie, and this episode of Children Chat. My God, Carl, you're a handsome man. Thank you so much. <laughs> what up, brother? How you doing? I am so good. Detroit Love, thank you so much for being on with me tonight. This is an absolute pleasure. It's so strange to get you out and about, not on a Friday night. Thank you for making time to be here. And we got a lot of fun stuff to talk about tonight. I thought of you specifically because anytime I'm going to talk golf, I know you're my golf man. I've watched you plug, uh, like, it seems like 3,000 hours into that golf game on the Nintendo Switch. Every time I logged into my Switch, you were playing it. So if I'm going to talk to somebody about golf... I'm going to talk to you. So you're the first person I wanted to ask about this. 
Golden T Deluxe. What is happening with this? What do you think of the news rumors of Golden T Deluxe? And most importantly, do you think this is actually coming out? Because we know with Arcade 1 Up, nothing's for sure until it's for sure. Or nothing's official until it's official. Golden T Deluxe leaks on Wayfair. What are your thoughts, my man? Uh, it's it's definitely about time for them to redo this. Uh, this is a cabinet that obviously has a lot, is rooted into the drinking community, the golfing community, the barring community, game home community. So, uh, you know, I still have the classic, the OG um, golden tea. And so uh, for the people that don't have a golden tea, this is probably one of the better ones. It's, it's not as big as your your uh, your version of it. Yeah, but the it's, XL. Uh, yeah, the XL version, but it's, it's the perfect size. You know, we've worked with RK1 up over the years to get them to uh, get these things as authentic as possible within budget right uh to get the look to give us you know the golden tea was one of the first was the first arcade one up that had the backlit marquee yep. they finally listened to us on that you know now we got the full coin doors so this is a and we we said away with the uh, risers we want to just have a, a cabinet that just looks like a, a full arcade cabinet so i think it's about time for them to release this at the at the price level that the deluxe come at and, and with this style. So I'm excited for the people that will be getting uh, this new cabinet when it is released. So Detroit Love, I got to I gotta caution you not to say work with Arcade 1UP around here because people take it way too friggin' literally when I'm involved. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, they, they listened to us whether they wanted yep. to or not over the years and they made the changes. They didn't give any of us any credit for taking still in all our God ideas. No. But it was necessary for this home arcade a genre to evolve from those cookie cutter versions that they had at the start to something like this golden tea where it looks like something you would want to have in your game room. Yeah, I think that's what I'm most excited for um, here is that people in the three quarter scale that want only three quarter scale arcades in their house. They're getting a newer version of golden tea. It's going to have stereo sound and more importantly, probably a more arcade accurate form factor. So I, I like that. We got a $2 super chat, uh, super chat here from my buddy, unacceptable fringe here in Canada, track and field. I'll quote Cyrus. Absolutely. We'll get to track and field in a little bit. Unacceptable fringe. I promise you, uh, corner has got to go. He says, all right, back to work. I'll catch the replay. I thought you were off Mondays now, Danny. Never know with that guy. Anyways, track and field coming out in the deluxe form factor. All we know right now is that it's on Wayfair. We don't know if, when RK1 Up plans on announcing this, if they're planning on announcing it. There were also rumors they were going to do another Golden TXL for Costco later this year. Do you think it's possible that they're going to do both a deluxe and an XL in the same year, Carol? Oh, it's definitely possible. Definitely possible. And, and RK1 Up definitely over the years have not been one to show their hand uh too often right and so we've had things just pop up at costco in the past um was blitz i believe blitz was one of those ones that just it might have popped up at costco i know it was at yeah. sam's club yeah or sam's club yeah uh oh got some carl no no <laughs> I'm, I can hear you now. You went out for a second. Yeah, you, you, you kind of froze, or maybe that was me freezing. I don't know. That's okay, my man. See, Carl, the thing is, uh, there's only so much bandwidth coming from Canada. And with all the weight you lost, how sexy you are, you're taking up most of the bandwidth, so it's completely taken away from me here. That's why. Well, I think it must be this 19K, 19K Fox hat. That's doing how many of those do you have? Didn't he give you a white one, too? No, just this one. Just that one. I was pretty yeah. jealous of that, yeah. <laughs> we got another uh, $2 super chat here from Stringer Films. 1UP will release a golden goatee before a track and field. What the hell is a golden goatee, Stringer Films? Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> and Darren Kane. Uh, Darren's our buddy. I don't know if you ever run across Darren before uh, Detroit Love. Darren is actually a former Arcade 1UP employee. And he says that's what Carol gets for popping open a soda so audibly. Look, that that's part of my trademark. You got to have a, a, a unusual sound that just comes up sound effect. All right, Carl, we got another super chat and Lake on Super Game Room, dude. Do you want to can? Uh, do you want to handle this one? 
uh houston amusements uh two dollar super chat which will be the first teenage mutant ninja turtle xl or a dlx in your opinion what do you think brother? Deluxe. so deluxe or xl for for a mutant i mean that's a four player i i would rather have that in the xl and hopefully get a bigger platform but knowing rk one up they don't really do things like that that makes sense sometimes uh they'll they'll do it in the deluxe for, for first probably with a too small control panel because even because even the, the the have you had a xl that has a four player yet I yeah i got the nba jam shack edition now did they make uh, did they make that platform yeah they just make it the same size so it's 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 pretty much the exact same size uh control panel yeah it's so, a little bit longer i think but it, it's the same size okay so yeah. it don't really matter whether they do a deluxe or or a uh a xl it, it's going to be the same same I, I think i think uh unfortunately uh your bet on arcade one up is they will always do a re-release in the deluxe format before the xl and it's just their XL right now, as it seems, is no longer a normal retail product. They tried that with Golden Tee. They tried that with, um, you know, uh, NBA Jam Shack Edition. And from everything I'm seeing right now, uh, it's uh, everything XL is going to be a club exclusive. So either Costco exclusive, which means it doesn't come to Canada, or Sam's Club. So, mm. yeah, a little bit tough. But going back to Golden Tee... Um, one of the things I, I really want to focus on right now is this is only on Wayfair and I'll just bring it up so everybody can take a look at it here. Um, bring the post up. It's still up. So here's the thing. Normally when a arcade one up leak comes out, arcade one up is usually pretty quick to get it taken down. Like, of course we saw the X-Men 97 right down in the past. Whenever there's a leak, it's down. It never stays up. So the question is. Why is this one still up? Do they not care that it was leaked? Or is this a mistake? This is what I'm going to put out there. To me, Golden Tee makes the most sense. It's one of their slam dunk sales. Not one I'm excited for. Let me be clear about that. But Golden Tee is a pretty easy one to sell for somebody. Um, and, of course, there is a demand for it in the three-quarter scale form factor. And it just makes sense that this will be one they would re-release. But now I'm seeing this left up there with Arcade 1 Up not forcing it down. They even updated the price. Does that lead you to believe, Carl, that maybe this isn't real or maybe this is something else? No, I, I think it is real. I think it is real. Uh, I think it, it, they don't they don't have to worry about this one. This is not going to affect the sales of something else. Like, oh, I'm not going to get the Teenage Mutant Ninja cabinet because this golden tea is coming out i think the people that want golden tea is going to get golden tea so there's no there's no threat of it cannibalizing sales of other cabinets so so from that perspective i don't think they're threatened by it being up here early is it's, it's early advertisement people can start saving up the cash and obviously what they raised it 100 bucks from the last time you saw it you know oh, uh, actually down it was originally priced 769 us oh oh wow that was that was pretty steep yeah, which was which was well above because normally the deluxe is like four ninety nine, right? Uh, okay. Deluxe uh, at the lowest point is four ninety nine, so that's the legacy line. So you're going to see your uh, class of eighty one, Pac Man, Mortal Kombat, and Street Fighter usually around four ninety nine. Then the more pricey deluxe cabs uh, like Fast and the Furious five ninety nine. Surprising to see Golden T up around that price point because you would think that'd be more like a four ninety nine model. We don't know, and then you get your outliers like uh, Time Time Crisis was seven forty nine. So who knows where the prices are going? I want to just uh, highlight this Richie Cabs Retrocade. Please hold on to this question until we talk about track and field because this is an excellent question. I just don't want to answer it now because I don't want to get off track, which I do so very often. So I'm a little bit concerned that this is up on the Wayfair site and hasn't been taken down. Highwayman says, I sure hope no one tells Cyrus. I did bring it to Cyrus' attention. He's aware of it, yet it persists. Is it a possibility that RK one up aren't actually coming out with the Golden Tee Deluxe, that this is renders that they did 
to try to sell a product to retailers, which we know they do. They sent these out to Wayfair saying, this is something we're possibly going to do. And Wayfair mistakenly put this up and Arcade went up. It's like, whatever, just leave it up. We don't care. But it's not coming out. Now, the, now the Golden T definitely came out at a higher price than, than the other ones did. Originally, uh, yeah. Originally, when the, the, the model that I have, that was higher, a much higher price than all the other ones at the time. Uh, so it so it follows their model that this one, they know they can get the price. They know they can yep. sell it at this price. There's no need to take a cut, take a hit. Uh, and so this seems like a fair price uh, for this cabinet. And I think that's going to be the, the, the retail price. Hopefully, the great thing about when it comes to retail is, is always the option, uh, the, the option for it to be available lower, right? Because yep. Physical stores have physical space that they have to clear out at some point in time to make room for the next seasonal thing. Uh, and so that's the great thing. So that's why I, I, I would rather be in these type of stores as opposed to being on their website, you know, directly from Arcade One Up because they don't have that that same restraint. Right. Yeah. So let's go down and just go over some of this. Uh, one of the rumors was that, of course, with the price seven sixty nine. Uh, everybody was thinking this is actually the Golden TXL, and it's a mistake on Wayfair's part. I also want to clarify, already on this site, uh, they have the Golden TXL, which is at a different price point, so it's not a duplicate boasting. The other thing I want to be very clear of, this is a different render. This is not the Golden TXL render, because if you take a look at it, um, you will see right here, the front panel is extremely different than the Golden TXL because the Arcade 1UP logos here, which is, this is very reminiscent of the Deluxe cabs. All the Deluxe have that. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, this is a Deluxe cab. Even if you go down to the description and you take a look at this, they do say 17-inch BOE color monitor uh, here in the images. Um, let me just go over here. They do say that it's 61 inches tall, 25.2. So these are deluxe, you know, um, specifications. So even though this is still up, I, I have to believe this is real. And I did uh, reach out to uh, a couple of Canadian uh, salespeople to ask uh, for clarification on price when it was 769 and 769 US. And I did get clarification that Golden Tea will be less than $700 Canadian. So, I mean, all signs point to this actually coming out. I mean, uh, even though, you know, nothing's official until it's official, at least it's something that has been discussed. We have official renders for it and Wayfair jumped the gun and put it up for sale. So in my opinion, this will come out. And I, I think even though I'm not uh, the biggest deluxe guy, I think it's a smart move on Arcade one Ops part. I know a ton of people that are new in the community missed out on that Wave 2 Golden Tee. They've been wanting this, and uh, this is obviously a much better looking version of Golden Tee with a lot more games because we're also getting the additional games. Where's this games list here? Golden Tee 3D Golf, 97, 98, 99, 2K, Classic, Shuffle Shot, and World Class Bowling. So better version now carl looking at this um because you know we're talking about new people they're excited what about you from the aspect of would you upgrade uh, you've got the original golden tea you've had it since the beginning know how much you love it would you possibly upgrade to this seeing the additional games the world-class bowling and shuffle shot knowing that now this unit um, has stereo speakers uh, light up marquee new form factor and uh, the trackball, um, I'm a little worried about, but apparently not everybody had the same issues as me. Is this something you consider upgrading to from your Wave 1 or Wave 2? Well, let's just say this. I have never gotten rid of any of the the, the cabinets I've bought. I've never upgraded anything. Uh, I don't really, I don't, that's just not what I do. Um, so it's not something, it's, it's not compelling enough to justify me you know you know trying to sell this at whatever price and buying that one I, it's just it's just not something i do so i would love to have that additional games now if someone buys this cabinet and then do an upgrade and then they make that pcb available on ebay i'll go buy that and and see if it'll fit in here and, and you know that type of thing but but to just replace the whole cabinet you know that that's just i wouldn't i wouldn't do it online leaderboards doesn't sell you either 
No, no, you know, and, and matter of fact, I think uh, this big blue right behind me yep. is the first one. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that because you know, you got the online uh, boards, you can play against people online, and I think Big Blue is probably one of the least cabinets I play. You know, well, that's sad. I got a Street Fighter now, we should start playing each other, but then again. I got a killer instinct and we don't play each other, but uh, yeah, we got yeah, a we should connect we don't on play each other. We need to connect oh, on I, one of those three. I, I don't have a blitz anymore. I sold it to my buddy uh, Mike Dalton. I don't know if he still has it or not, but okay, yeah, we I should because because yeah. we we're uh, we we suck at the same level, so we'll it'd be a competitive fight, right? You know, yeah. we can't go in there with Bobby Boo and those guys. We'll just get our butts whooped and uh, hand it to us back. Um, <laughs> so we should do that. Killer instinct or or uh, big blue, either one. Yeah, my Street Fighter works great. My Killer Instinct works great for online play, but uh, no, not much. Uh, Kevin Clausen wants you to pull a 19K Fox and point a gun at me since you're wearing his hat. <laughs> uh, well, I have them all connected to the TV now, so they're on the other side. Normally, I have ah. them here. I had the uh, Gun 4 IR set up here, yep. and then the Retro Shooter's on the TV, but I put them both on, on the TV now. Well, Carl, I got one for you. I know another cab you never purchased was the Terminator 2 cabinet. Right. So, uh, did you you never bought a single one of our cable one up shooters? You never bought Time Crisis, Big Buck Hunter, or Terminator 2. Nope. But you're a huge gun game guy. Why did you never pick one up? Terminator for sure made absolutely no sense to me. I know you guys bought that. I love it. A single gun is not is not a game that I played. Right. You know at the arcades uh that's a that's a quarter eater or a dollar eater right whatever you had to throw in that thing um games like that irritate me it, it <laughs> irritates me i'm i'm not going to feed money into a machine like that it's just that's just that's just not how i grew up i grew up being a master of the quarter and yeah. i could put a quarter in pac-man or galaga and play you know for a long time uh, and so those single game things just don't appeal to me at all, at, and definitely at that price set that they had it. And so, so I love the shooters, but I love the more modern. So I'm the opposite. When it's in the cabinets, I, I like the more retro. I like the more you know the the, the verticals things are is where I love is where my passion is more so. Uh, so so I like playing like Terminator. Uh, I think it's uh, Extinction or a uh, Salvation. Yep, Terminator, Terminator Salvation. Termination Salvation. I can play that forever. I love that game. But the the one that's in this cabinet that you're talking about, D two. I, I, I look at that and I'm like, who would buy this game? And who Me, would buy twice. this cabinet that <laughs> only has this game? <laughs> it's just me it, it, it's, it's mind-boggling to me well you know terminator 2 was such a big deal like when i went to the arcades that's right around my nostalgia point like i love the 80s arcade stuff like love it love it i love the history i respect it so much i love the design of the cabinets but th that's a different thing my actual nostalgia like where i have a very small space right now i'm trying to just go with games that really really speak to my time in the arcade and terminator 2 was right there i mean i came in 80 for um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, got really big on Superstars, WrestleFest, and then of course when the fighters came out, Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, I was in love with it. The gun game from my time period was in fact Terminator 2. That's the one I resonate with. So, so, so very big for me. But here's the reason why I brought this up. The soft mod's now out. The uh, Team Encoder soft mod for Terminator 2. I picked up my second cab for $4.99 Canadian, uh, it was on sale. It was mispriced at the brick. That was the big thing going to try to get the mispriced cab. So I picked it up for $4.99 compared to originally I paid $8.49 for it. So $349 more. Uh, if you could find one at a good price, would you now consider picking up a Terminator 2, do the soft mod and adding all those games to it? You just said you like more of the modern games, but I mean, there's got to be some classic games you like. What about those Exidy shooters, Chiller? No, maybe not, but you know, <laughs> we got some other really cool games you can put on it. Well, and so so that price set would make it definitely something I would want to grab. And, and here's why. Now, I still wouldn't want to play those I, I play some of the old games, like the yeah. like the build I have on my on my computer has four hundred and fifty shooter games on it, right? Uh, and so I do go back and play some of those, but many of those old ones, I I I I'm in there for like two seconds, like no, no, I can't do this. 
But here's where I'm at. I I appreciate having it in a cabinet, the ability to have it in a cabinet. Yeah. Because in my TV, now it's tying up my TV, right? Yeah. You know, I'm, I want to watch the Super Bowl, and but I, people are over, and I want to be able to shoot, but you, I got to choose. Even when I'm even my PC, right? I want to do it. I want to shoot, but my daughter wants to edit her videos on my, my computer. You know what I mean? And oh, so she's she, a YouTuber now too, isn't she's, she? She's trying to get in there. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to do that. And so and so so I love the idea of having a dedicated cabinet that I can just walk up to and play the shooters on. Uh, but I I don't know that I would do that. I don't know much about the soft mod because I hadn't you know been plugged in lately. So I don't know if it's just giving me more shooters or it's giving me other games that aren't shooters, but I would love to have a themed shooter cabinet that I put my PC into, a PC into, and play the more modern games. Yeah, just give me a minute here now. There's a YouTuber. I don't personally watch him. I think he's kind of shitty, but <laughs> I, a lot of other people do. Uh, so let me pull this up for you. Loud next keyboard level. Time. Next yeah, th level this time, guy. Man. This guy likes to take it to the next level. So uh, this guy recently did a video. Uh, let me get this damn ad off there. Oh. Ads on YouTube are disgusting. So anyways, I've never seen it ads because I pay for a premium. So uh, see, really. that's smart. Anyways, B did a long video here on the team encoder mod showing you how to do it, what you could do. So maybe that would be a good one for you to check out, brother. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw it, it popped up on my feed, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Um, but in a nutshell, is it what is it giving you? You the options to play in addition to the. Uh, you'd have to watch B Kong. I don't know the full games list, but uh, okay. you know people are pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, and uh, you on Discord, Carl? Yes. Yeah, there's there's a big uh, there's a big Discord thread and stuff like that where uh, okay. Team Encoder are helping people. So maybe it's something for you to check out. Uh, first stop is B's video. Check it out. I, I know you're the kind of person you like a deal, Carl, and you like a project. So I'm very surprised you're not more interested in this and been more on top of it. Well, again, the, the the boss of the house has put down the the foot and said no more cabinets in here. So uh, <laughs> I'm still adhering to that. I'm, you 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 say the hell with the rules, Laura. You told me not to spend any more money, and you just do it anyway. See, I'm, I'm not that way. Yeah. So you know, I see the 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 gaming on my PC, right? That's not a new cabinet right i got a whole ah. i got a whole new shooters now let's pay way more than i would have paid for a cabinet you know see this is this is this guns. is why you were all in on that shuffle golf because technically it's not a new cab so you can bring something new and you can be like baby it's not a new cab right. i told it's you not, it's not a cabinet <laughs> right so i was excited so get something <laughs> in the game room again um but so that's what it is it's just you know we we're the girls are older now right and and so we're traveling more, and so my wife wants to spend money on going to the Bahamas and going to Belize and doing all this stuff, you know, instead of just coming down here in the game room and enjoying a game or two. I yeah. don't get it, but, you know, I, I'm supportive. All right, so uh, right now I do want to do a new segment we're doing on the show, and this is a segment called Last Night on 19K Fox. So I'm going to... talk to people and tell them about your shuffle golf experience here now well that was weird okay i have no idea what you just Cave one up bad. You didn't miss a ton, but Unicorn. Carol, do you yeah. watch 19K Fox? I mean, just so you know, none of that stuff you were saying was live. You were off in the corner. Was what? that intentional? <laughs> yeah. I was off in a no corner. Way. Yeah, you were off the screen. Don't you had a blank screen up there? You see all the what the hells and Okay, so brief us <laughs> what you were talking about. 
I watched 19K Fox. Uh, you didn't see any of that? No. We had a picture of, of Fox with the cabinet. Oh, yeah. That, the picture was no the audio, point. <laughs> but it was picture. no audio. Oh, there was no audio? No. Oh, okay. I'll try it again. So last night on 19K Fox, I got to get better at this whole YouTube thing. Last night on 19K Fox, he was actually at the Unico headquarters. Uh, you can see him and another gentleman there lovingly sandwiching the Unico, Unico Nova Blast that they tag teamed. And, uh, you know, uh, he gave us an update on that. So last night on the show, it was your typical 19K Fox show, Unico Good. John D. Good, Arcade 1-Up Bad. So if you missed 19K Fox last night, once again, Unico Good, John D. Good, Arcade 1-Up Bad. I forgot yeah. that when I take myself off screen, there's no uh, no volume. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, I shits at this? I was trying to figure out what was going on. I, was, I thought you was trying to show a before and after picture of me <laughs> before I started to, you know, to lose my way here. Uh, no, no. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh my! <laughs> but yeah, I I have the unicorn thing is like a unicorn to me. I have I have no idea. It, it's not in my wheelhouse at uh, at all. I have no idea. Well, I I seen a bunch of them at Cleveland, right? The Cleveland Classic, yeah. right? They had a rows and rows over, it, and I uh, I walked by and I checked out. It was all kinds of different games on those things. Uh, it was definitely a, a huge variety of of games to play on these similar looking cabinets, you know. So. Yeah, it's it's not something that uh, we're very familiar with in North American arcade culture. This was more uh, Japanese culture and the fighting game community and also the shoot 'em up community. That's what these cabinets are more known for. Like, uh, it's really exciting. It's a really cool product, but um, I, I don't know who it's going to be for. Uh, like, it's really cool because it's very similar to what Game Room Solutions are doing. You're basically getting a ready-to-go cabinet that you got to put your own pc uh, or other thing in that is really simple paint by numbers put together but it also takes it a step further because it adds that arcade nostalgia being a representation of a classic candy cab which are very hard to get here and actually very much sought after but it's not for everybody it's very much uh, dedicated towards fight game community and people with that nostalgia so it'll be interesting yeah i'm, I'm again that for, uh, for people that love that type of thing, that's pretty cool because it's customizable. You know, you I, I'm a guy that can get into into uh, having the options to do what you want to do with your cabinet. So uh, Kevin Klossen gets the joke. Uh, so everybody knows that 19K Fox does a uh, members only after show, and I call it his OnlyFans page. So two dollar super chat. Here is the money to join 19K Fox's OnlyFans page. <laughs> Uh, Unico, uh, Unico, uh, delivery guy. Yeah. Uh, he was telling me that he got stuck and he needed Fox to help him out. <laughs> Carol, you got a picture there you want to share. You want to pop that up? Oh, that was just, uh, just when you and I got together at the, at the uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland Gaming Classic. Since I was mentioning that first oh, time geez. I was meeting in person. Even look at you there compared to what you look like now. How much weight have you lost since September? Uh, I think it was total like forty five pounds, maybe. My God, and, you look good. And it's funny because it is forty five doesn't sound like a lot, um, but it's huge. It's yeah, huge. Yeah. yeah you know? Just I'm gonna put you full screen here now. We can't hear you. You have to do. You have Damn to it. do this if you want to be heard. Yeah. Okay, Carl, take a slide oh, oh, back. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Take a slide back and show them that rainwater shirt, like how small you look in it. I uh, know. I think this is a Look at that. XL or, or uh, it might even be large. I don't even know what it is. But yeah, all of my gaming shirts are like uh, super big. I had to get some medium size shirts to 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 rep to rep any of this stuff properly. But my fox hat is perfect size for my head, shrunken head. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I'm gonna have to talk to you about this diet stuff, man. Like, uh, I got I got to figure out some stuff in my life. Oh, I, I've... and that's the thing, Michael B. It's 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 a mind blowing how minor the changes were to to get here. I'm I, I'm just amazed, and and it's just so routine that I have no problem maintaining. I, I maintain around 160. I might float between 158 and one. 61 or something like that but average is like 160 now as opposed to i think it was like 205 at the top 
but I wasn't yeah. weighing myself, so I don't know exactly what I was at the heaviest. So, Carl, Mystery Encoder has a great question because this is something that's on my list of stuff to do as well. Uh -huh. Have you thought about modding your I arcade? I did. I put that board in, and uh, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't be. Rec it wouldn't recognize. Okay. At all. So, so I just stopped there. I had time to, you know, because you had to get it open and do all this stuff. So I just hadn't had time to figure out why the board is not recognized. Because, as a matter of fact, I got the board. I had ordered the board. Uh, I forget the gentleman's name. Um, I got the case in here in front of me somewhere. But I, but I ordered it. And I was waiting for it. Nick's. Mm, okay, say so. Um, but I ran into him at the Cleveland Classic yeah. show, and he and he gave me, so he just gave it to me, you know, in my hand as opposed to shipping it to me because because I was there. Uh, but I put it in. He gave me the the cable that only uses cable, but it just doesn't recognize. So I was kind of discouraged, like, what the heck is? Why is it not working? So I'll have to. So yeah, mystery. Yeah, custom. Yeah, custom a custom arcade so you might want to reach out to him i'm going to be trying it myself in the next little while maybe we can tag team that and work on it together yeah let's do that let's do that yeah man all right so carl uh i know a lot of people want to talk more about arcade one up so i i wanted to bring this up as well the big rumor that's going on right now is of course uh, this foolishness about the arcade one up track and field cab and everybody's super excited they want to see it happening but uh i'm telling people to be cautious so where this came from was a listing went up on walmart now also remember anybody could put anything on walmart like as long as you're an approved seller on walmart you can put mm -hmm. anything up but a listing went up for a track and field adjustable stool from arcade one up for the low low price <laughs> of nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars <laughs> and then you can see the image here Arcade one up, track and field, adjustable stool, arcade one up, and there's the listing there. And look, look at these videos. Track and field coming. I posted that like two years ago. So, um, you know, uh, is arcade one up, track and field coming? That's what everybody's saying right now. There's also a great post on Reddit. If you're not following arcade one up on Reddit, Reddit arcade one up. This guy Neo Hyper sixty four posts some really interesting shit up there. Check that out. Carl, what are your feelings on track and field? Is this just foolishness? Is it coming? Is it not coming? What do you think? Uh, I mean, track and field is an iconic game from the past. is is not a game that I would buy. I mean, I my my hands ache just thinking about uh, banging on those keyboards just to get nowhere. <laughs> I, I I sucked at that game. I was lousy at it um and uh so so it's definitely not a game my hand my, my 58 year old hands couldn't 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 take the beating of a, a track and fall a track and field uh arcade cabinet at all um and i don't know that there's i don't know i don't know that there's enough demand for track and field but like anything if it's if it's made available there's gonna be people that are gonna get it just because they have arcades and they and they want to have you know uh, another arcade cabinet in their in their collection so for sure if it if it comes out it's going to sell uh i don't know if it's going to be one of their top selling ones but you know I, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't if you go through the list of the arcade cabinets from that time frame whether you say top 50 top 100 whatever the case is it's going to show up in that list and so it's, it's only it only makes sense that is that it's on their list to do or to at least co to consider. So, Carol, if you look on the screen here, this is actually footage from that documentary I told you about uh, the other day. Chasing oh. Ghosts came out in 2006. So here on the screen, they're talking about the Wiz Kids and the tricks they had with uh, basically track and field, how they got all the records from playing uh, track and field with the pencils and all that shit. So you should really go check that out. Amazing documentary. But that's one of the reasons track and field really came to the forefront for me. Why I was so excited about it was the fact that it, it had such a score place and these tricks and stuff like that. And the first thing that came up in my mind when I thought about Arcade 1-Up doing a track and field cab, and I remember uh, mentioning to John D. back then on Messenger, I said to him, I said, John, you, you guys can't do a track and field. Like, if there's ever a time where people complain about uh, your cabs having bad buttons, it's track and field. Like, people are going to destroy the buttons on these trying to slam down and make this work 
Yeah, so uh, that's for sure. For sure, it's a it's a button slapping game. Uh, uh, I could just never get the rhythm. Yeah. Right. Right. And the timing. Right. So uh, what we do know about Golden Tee, because I put out a video about it before, and Darren Kane is kind of confirming this here. Darren, when he worked at Arcade 1UP, can tell you, I worked on a copy for the track and field stool in mid-2021, but never for the cab itself. So <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul's not buying it, literally or figuratively. I, I will also tell you this. This is a rumor from two years ago. There was a stool that went up, and this was also one of those rumored cabs that was supposed to come out. Arcade One Up did uh, post this image. Let me just show it for you right now. Uh, this is also from the Reddit post as well. I'll get this up so everybody can see. This is what is going on everybody's thumbnails. This image here. So this is an image of like an Arcade One Up sales brochure that they put out, uh, basically to sell cabs back at that timeline. There's Tron with a early riser that uh, I don't think that's the riser that ever came out. A turtle stool we never saw, and this is supposedly the track and field cab that they put in that brochure for people to pick up. So this is this is an old, old, old image. They went to retailers, they tried to sell it, no joy, didn't happen. Um, so I know a lot of people in the community would love for this to happen, but th they already tried to bring this to retailers, and retailers never bought it. So the reason people are thinking that this is possibly real is the fact that the Paris Olympics are coming up. So we've heard John D on shows like One Up Weekly in the past, say with one up they like to do some kind of um i forget what the term's called like an activation tied in with something else so people are saying wow what about uh, the paris olympics are coming up now's the right time for our cable up to finally do the track and field i i would caution not to follow that because it's not the same arcade one up that it was back in 2021 when John D was on One Up Weekly talking about that. This is no longer the company that's just going to make their own cabs, unless a retailer actually comes out and says, "Hey guys, we're gonna we 100% want this cab. We're gonna fund it. Let's do it." It's not getting made. So for me, I, I really don't believe this rumor. I think this is a fake rumor created by the stool posting on Walmart. Yeah, I would agree. This this would be a hard sell. I mean, you got to think about the people that are running these retails these days. These these are people that didn't grow up in the arcades, and, and they barely even know what a Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man is. Uh, for them to try and get to sell a track and field would be a, a very hard sell. Yeah. The other thing I do want to bring up, and people were pretty smart about this too, because they're talking about it. They're saying, well, it's from the Walmart Post. And I was talking to Patrick earlier today, and I was like, you know what? literally anybody can put a post up like i could get approved as a seller on rk on walmart.com and i said for a joke i should just start posting random like products and stuff like that like a cubert stool <laughs> robotron robotron uh what is it that mat they gave us with our killer instinct pro cabs uh what was the name of that mat the anti-fatigue mat a robotron right. anti-fatigue mat something like that <laughs> just to screw with people and see more of these videos going on. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? That's the ultimate troll job. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's start doing it. Let's sign we'll into my account. We'll create our own news. People are so desperate for anything with Arcade 1UP. Obviously, a $9,999 stool thing um, is not a good place to go for a rumor, but I I've been caught before. I made a video a little while ago about Mortal Kombat XL coming out based on a logo, but I did, I did say in the video... This might be false because this could just mean the classic cab. So keep that in mind when you do it. And uh, I have a I have an affiliate link with uh, Walmart. So you uh, make the fake entries. I'll put my affiliate links in them, and we'll push them out there. Yeah. Uh, so track and field guys, I I'm really sorry to be a rumor killer here. I just I just don't think it's possible. This is one. Like Double Dragon a couple of years ago, yeah, they did a lot of work on and they went to the retailers and they tried to sell it, but they just couldn't sell it. So I, I don't know if they came back on it. The one one saving grace for this, I will say, is typically when Arcade 1UP has already invested resources, sometimes they'll circle back and still do it if there's a market. We saw that last year with Fast and the Furious and also with Time Crisis. Those are games they worked on when they were more robust of a company. So they had already done most of the development, most of the ideas, worked on it internally, so they can very quickly uh, 
activate it with a retailer if they wanted to do it. So the only saving grace to this rumor is we know, like Darren said a little while ago, they have already put time and effort into this. So this would be a low cost activation for them to move forward with it. That's the only other thing I'll say. Um, Pitbull says track and field has a trackball version too. I didn't know that. Did you know that Carl? I did that. Um, the other piece I, I did want to say there is a little bit, let me bring this back on screen. There is a little bit of a problem with track and field. Uh, there were some rumors that, uh, new wave toys were looking at doing this at one point. So the problem with track and field is this is a Konami game and I don't know if I can do a good job of going in. No, it won't let me, uh, it's just going here. So let me, uh. Bring that back to 100 but if you take a look on the side of the cabinet this is common with arcade one arcade one, arcade games back in the day a uh, company might have developed it and might have retained the rights like konami but the actual cab is something else this is actually a i, I think the name of the cab is konami and then century is the name of the other company so there might be some licensing issues with the artwork uh, another one that you're probably familiar with is frogger Konami maintained the rights, but Frogger actually came out in a Sega cab, and Sega actually owned the uh, rights and likeness to the artwork and the cab itself. That's why Frogger had a different art style. So um, from what I understand, Century actually owns the art on the cabinet. I think that's the name of the company. So if for Arcade one up to do that, they would have to work out a different licensing agreement with Century. But assuming they've already made this render, you would have to think that, yeah, they've already done that... Uh, They've already done that licensing work, so that's more to the positive. Yeah, but but we've seen like uh, Silver Strike in 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 a live video, right? And that's never no. coming, that's <laughs> that never was back in the Wild this. West day of the uh, trailer that they had, right? <laughs> right, uh, but you know we know they they make things to be able to promote to people to try yeah. and sell the idea, and so those prototypes, if you can have a prototype of anything. At any given time and 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 definitely a rendering right a rendering much yeah. much more easier than an actual prototype that's that they could take to a trade show or something or have someone stand at. so any so anything is possible you know being but this is everything probable right so it's it's, yeah. it's unlikely that this track and field uh it has any teeth no legs guys right. uh, I, I i apologize for being a rumor and killer on this i i really think on the probability scale <clears throat> in terms of whether or not something is coming out track and field is way off like um uh, again if arcade one up is going to do something new this year it's an easy game to emulate they've already worked on so there is some probability but it's very low we like i i would be very surprised if track and field is a game retailers are tripping over to pay arcade one up to make and sell so uh, i would i would uh I would go back on that. Zero Redux says Century has been out of business since 1985. Yeah, that's 100% true, but you got to question who, uh, who owns, owns, who owns their Somebody rights, owns right? the right. Yeah, someone yeah. owns that, those, that information. And they may not even know they own it. That's the tricky thing when it comes to those licensing. Uh, with as, as companies merge and get bought out, you never know. And that's the tricky thing in, in even trying to track things down. Who yeah. do you contact? Is it even worth their time to even discuss it? Because they're not going to make any money off your however X amount of cabinets you want to make. So it's it's a very difficult thing with, with these licensing. So it's like the TurboGrafx-16. Did you get a TurboGrafx-16 Mini when it came out? Was that in your wheelhouse? I did. Yeah, I, I, I got I, it. I did. Yeah. I, 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 haven't, love I haven't played it since. <laughs> I haven't played it since I plugged it up. And... Yeah. Uh, I uh, I got one as well. I love Turbo Graphics. The original company worked on that. That was a collaboration between uh, Japanese computer company NEC and Hudson Soft. Turbo Graphics is actually owned by Konami now. Konami owns the Turbo Graphics, so that was actually a Konami release, believe it or not. Okay. So even though like old companies defunct, they always get taken over by somebody else. Right. So anyways, there's guys, value. there's value in those licensing, whether they utilize them or not. There's value in that. So uh, I did put a poll up earlier uh, asking the audience what they thought. Do you think track and field and golden tea deluxe are real? 28% said yes, both are real. 
50% said Golden Tee Deluxe is real, 6%, only 6% said Only Track and Field is real, and 16% said Neither will come out. 185 votes. We can end the poll there. I think it's pretty accurate. Golden Tee, yeah, I love the fact that you guys are cautious about it because, remember, nothing's official with Arcade 1 Up till it's official. We've seen cabs canceled before. We remember we got that backstage look of that horrible Sonic cab, but we were excited for Tapper, we were excited for Double Dragon, and then they never came to fruition, unfortunately. This is a good question. This is off topic, but here we go. What are each of your top three cabs you'd like to see or that you already have? XL2. Carl, how about you? Uh, all of our cave one up. If you could have anything you wanted, you know, Blue Sky Approach, what would you like to see them release? Uh... It's always Crazy climber. Be, it's, it's always going to be Donkey Kong number yeah. one. If that could materialize, Donkey Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Junior. So that's two cabinets right off the bat uh, with Nintendo. And uh, the the third cabinet would definitely have to be Tekken. Would really, be Tekken, Tekken, Tekken three. You know, one of the mid range Tekkens uh, for sure. Yeah. And 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 any you said what. Uh, I think the other side of that was any of my existing ones. I would like to see XL. Uh, I would like I would like to have a, a, a Galaga, one of my verticals XL. I would really want to have a, a XL centipede with the oh, true yeah. vertical and not and throw throwing those you no know, thunder. What's that? What's that one they like to put in there with the shooter guy? The guy jumping over the boxes. What's that? Thunder or something. Rolling rolling thunder. Rolling thunder, yeah. 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 I'm just gonna put this rolling thunder in there for no absolutely no reason. Just put a a horizontal game on this vertical cabinet. Uh, I don't get it. But yeah, that's what I would love to have. What up, P dubs? Hey, look P at this. P dubs arcade loft. What's <laughs> happening, brother? Okay, this looks terrible. We got this like line going here. What is this? <laughs> Hold on, I'll mess it up a little bit. Uh, how about this? How about, is this better? How about how about we just do that? Yeah, that's better. With three of us we can do that. Yeah, so I got a funny story for you. Okay. So I was super excited uh, to live stream tonight. And what do you think happened to me when I got off work? You had a nap. Yeah, I fell asleep. I missed setting everything up, and preparing everything. Like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to hop on Mike's stream. There, it's like kudos, Mike. We can go for another hour if you want. No multicade Mondays tonight. Well, uh, let me change the thumbnail. I'll say a Monday multicade show under this last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, by the way, did you tell me is it real or not? Is track and field real or not? Oh, uh, we think it it's we think it's super fake. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's fake. All right. Yeah. All so right. it's it's probably somebody trolling, uh, trying to start shit. I mean. Like we said, anybody, literally anybody could go in on Walmart because it's not Walmart that's actually selling the stool, right? Any Walmart is the same as Best Buy is the same as Amazon. You can become an approved seller and put literally anything you want up there. So that's my guess. Someone's screwing with us or it's a major mistake. Yeah, I see. I, I'm, I'm careful. I don't like rush to make videos about that stuff uh, unless I'm so confident that it's that it's real. You guys all remember what happened with me with Virtua Fighter, right? <laughs> <laughs> when someone someone put that on Reddit to troll the Reddit community that Arcade One Up was coming out with Virtua Fighter, and I um I saw that you know they photoshopped a, an Arcade One Up if it looked like a Virtua Fighter, and I fell for it hook, line, and sinker, and I made a video like within five minutes on YouTube. I was like, oh my god, Virtua Fighter's coming because personally, I'd like them to do Virtua Fighter. Um, and then we found out it was fake. So See, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm an equal opportunity person. If there's a rumor out there and there's some, you know, quality to the entertainment level, or I think it's interesting, I'll put it up. But I'll also say, guys, this is probably never going to happen. Like with that Mortal Kombat XL, I literally said the logo might just be for the classic cab. So there it was. Now the Shaq thing, I, I'm completely at fault for that. <laughs> Shaq is announcing NFL Blitz. It's happening. I fell for that because you sold it to me. You it just like made it. sense. I mean, we knew they did that completely transparent, and like, uh, you know, we knew they were doing 
friggin' NFL blitz after that Super Bowl RK, uh, one-up weekly episode. We knew it was coming. Yeah. So why would Shaq be announcing an RK one-up cab at a Super Bowl party and for it not to be a football game? Well, of course, because it's a basketball game, NBA Jam XL. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I know you guys both like nope. wrestling, and so I'm going to have to tag. P dubs. No, no, don't, don't leave, Carl. Don't Carl. I'm, I'm at the I'm at the one hour mark, baby. No, Carl, you're in charge now. You're Carl, you're the Carl, top. Carl, you stay. I'll be quiet. Go ahead, Carl. Uh-uh. No, no. I, I do have to go. Oh, um, Carl, no, don't leave. You know, you know, uh, you guys do these marathons of three hour shows. I, you know, I can't I'll be asleep in the chair. You guys see me. I was only <laughs> teasing Mike about going for another hour. Oh no. <laughs> You stick around. Listen, we'll do it as long as you want to. When you don't feel comfortable, you tell us. We'll end the show. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, we're, not, we're not leaving yet. <laughs> Damn it, Carl. Come back. <laughs> Carl's we, the best. So Carl's the best. I did, I did say, though, and uh, I do want to clarify this. If they were to do a new cab this year, track and field would make sense because, as we know, Darren Kane, other people, this is something American one ups already invested time, effort into. They've already worked on it. They were planning on bringing it out. So they already have assets in place that they can reallocate towards a new product. Mm. 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 It's interesting, mm. Michael. It's like you know. That's what everybody keeps saying. <laughs> you got the whole games list. Yeah, I got the whole games list. That's why I did a video on MKXL. <laughs> what's what's next on the games list? Oh, that games list is so outdated now. And that was the list that got leaked. Same thing I saw. Game list that got leaked. And uh looks like most of that isn't going to be happening. So, Or will it? I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't heard from Arcade 1UP since... You know, before Christmas on anything. I, I, I think Arcade 1-Up should release track and field just to do the official Arcade 1-Up comb accessory that comes with it. That way, you know, when you put the comb down to hit your buttons at the same time, that way they should have the official Arcade 1-Up comb. But, well, but it's not going to happen. It's it's Apparently it's all fake. So We're, we're going to go back to our original plan of uh, I'm going to put a uh, placeholder listing up on Walmart.com for a uh, Qbert anti fatigue mat. <laughs> you know, if I had these anti fatigue mats, I wouldn't have to take a nap when I get off work. You know what I mean? And I might actually be able to make my shows happen. <laughs> yeah. So uh, before we go, there is some at games news that I did want to talk about, Carl. Can you stick around at least for that? He's pretending he's frozen. Yeah, this is my favorite thing he does. Like, all the stuff moving in the background, and Carl's, like, totally frozen. <laughs> he literally turns invisible when he doesn't move. All right. So uh, there was a bunch of announcements ahead, came shoot. out came out from Arcade 1-Up early uh, at games earlier t today and the last little while. First up is Pinball Net is going to be delayed. So uh, the plan was anticipation for the launch of our 4K Pinball Net, soft launch 4K Pinball Net subscription service, Going to be March 29th. Originally planned for March 29th. Expect an update. Launch next week. In the meantime, here's a quick glance of what's coming. So they give, like, basically an idea of what's coming. But it looks like Pinball Net is not going to be ready to go on the 29th. I think with all the other updates they've got to do right now of, you know, they're a little bit behind on getting the Gottlieb games out. They're still putting most of their resources into making sure the Zen flipper leg is fixed. It's not such a bad thing to delay pinball net until you get those kinks worked out. Get your major kinks worked out before you roll out your subscription service. You don't want a bad experience. Like, say, for example, uh, I bought into their subscription service. Then all of a sudden, there's no Gottlieb games like I thought there was going to be. The Zen tables are laggy if they're on there. You know, I don't want that first bad experience. I would rather wait and have the experience be good the first time I play it. Carl, what about you? Yeah, you know I'm not a big fan of uh, monthly subscriptions to I gaming know. gaming services. Um, you know, I try ArcadeNet. I've tried the Sony thing. I've tried the uh, Xbox monthly. I think I'm still paying for Xbox because my kids tricked me into signing up, and I don't know which credit card, the, how they signed up on it. So I think I'm still giving Microsoft some money that no one's using. 
Um, and that always happens. I, I, I just, I'm just not a fan of those things just for that reason. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I think RK net, I mean, the pinball, what is it called? Pinball net? Pinball net, yeah. Pinball net. I, I don't know how successful RK net would be, so I don't know how much different pinball net is going to do for them. But, you know, I, I, I like that they're trying that. And uh, and to give people some options and give people some things that they can play uh, with their monthly subscription. So while it's not for me, it is obviously for someone. So uh, with Pinball Net, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm speaking out of school, somebody correct me. It's going to be a little bit different than Arcade Net because it's not going to be Cloud Pinball. We we tried Cloud Pinball through Arcade Net before, and it, that was not the best experience. So this is going to work more like Game Pass. You can actually download the games. To your machine, as long as they can notice the pinball net subscription, you can still play them. So uh, that's 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 a positive, right? That's a good mm-hmm. thing. Uh, Arcade Net. The the other difference is with Arcade Net, it, it, they've added some games, but they haven't shown a real investment into Arcade Net. They haven't brought in more high end games that you can play online, like you know Street Fighter Two, Mortal Kombat. Of course, they're bringing in Killer Instinct now, but the, I don't know if that's going to be like. It's not really an arcade net exclusive. That's going to be a game pack you can buy. But I think that's the difference because with Pinball Net, they're going to be bringing in more high-end games through Pinball Net. Um, so maybe the experience will be a little bit better than what arcade net was. I hope so. I hope the you know, when you have someone commit to a monthly subscription, you got to give the people what they want, right? You got to give the people what they want, right, P-Dubs? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, it's not for me. I'd rather buy the games, download them and own them and they're mine, um, versus that, but there's a customer for that. So, you know, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, some people would rather sign up for the subscription and try out the games for a couple of months before they actually buy the games. So, I mean, I mean, you're not like locked in like for like a year or two, right? Like you can cancel at any time. So. I mean, it would make sense, like, if you're a new owner, if you sign up for that, that way you could test run a shit ton mm-hmm. of games and, you know, if, find the ones you like and then you buy those packs and cancel your subscription. Like, I mean, I, that would be, like, the only use I see of it personally. So, I mean, it's up to, but there's a customer for it. So oh, yeah. It um, is what I, it is. I see the value in it. Uh, I think they're smart in giving out the, because you get a, like, a two-month or three-month subscription when you get your machine. Like yeah, t- test one. Yeah. So well, I see. Whenever it launches, yeah, you'll get two months. I see a lot of value in it because just how expensive the games are. Because I went and bought all the games, all the available table packs during the last National Owners Day, and I still spent like four hundred dollars US buying them. So you consider that like you can either play all the games for one low monthly price, or like you said, yeah, I'll buy all the packs. But there's still that high upfront cost, and especially if you just drop like fifteen hundred dollars on a pinball machine, you might not have a lot of expendable income to go buy those packs. So there is an option there, right? Yeah, yeah and everybody's in their in their wheelhouse it, it, where they're comfortable. Like yeah. I still like to have the physical media if I can get it, right? Oh yeah. Uh, like for example, I've been playing a lot of Madden Twenty Four, and and at the time it was on sale at uh, uh, GameStop for thirty thirty four bucks, I think it was. And, uh, and at the time I looked, I'm like, I'm not really a fan of download, but let me go see if it's 30 here, right? It might be cheaper for download only directly from the PlayStation. And it was, they were still asking for $69 for the download. Yeah. Uh, but, but then now this week is $13 for download, right? So it's like at that price difference, 20 bucks difference, I might've been tempted to just get the download version, right? Um, though I do prefer to have the, the media. Yeah, I uh, I N S a monthly price you have to pay forever. What happens if you stop your subscription? You lose the games. Same as Game Pass. Same as anything like that. That's the trade off, right? Like you you own the tables as long as you're paying the subscription. Same the as first, Microsoft Game Pass. And the first thing about that, especially like with my experience with Xbox, you can't really tell in your ga- list of games which which of those games are dependent until you go to play it and like oh. I don't have the subscription and I'm not going to turn this back on to try and play it. So that's a frustrating thing to me. I wish they were segregated where I know these are the ones that I own and can play anytime as opposed to these are the games that I can only, I have to be online or have to be paying the the monthly amount to play. 
Dubs, you got Game Pass, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love Game Pass, but I will tell you one of my um, frustrations with Game Pass is a game will come on there that I like, but it's a role playing game and I've got such a backlog. I download it right away and I'm like, I can't wait to play this when I have some free time. Then I go back to play it and all of a sudden it's no longer available on Game Pass. Like they'll turf some yeah. things out because I guess their uh, server size is only so big. So that's my only frustration. Hopefully that's not something that comes up with uh, Pinball Net either. Like, well, you know, it's not, well, it's more your fault that you didn't put your entire life on hold to play that game. That that's they true, I guess. So that's <laughs> more your fault, Mike. You should have just told the wife and the kids and Arcade went up to stick it. You don't know, like you talked about having a nap and almost missing the show. You don't know how close I was to missing this show. Uh, <laughs> I I actually had a work meeting at 830 so I was on my work meeting, uh, and I was paying attention, but I was also setting up the show at the same time, because that was the first chance I got to do it. I had a bunch of work to do. I still, after this tonight, at like 1 o'clock in the morning, had to go break into my office to go sign a contract that's got to be in tomorrow morning. This is like how wild my life is. And then my brother just shows up at the house. He's like, hey, Mike, I thought I'd come over and hang out. And I was like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, I had the same. Over. Pardon? He's still there? He's You're still there? No, 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 no. I told him to get out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, hit the brakes, buddy. <laughs> and that's funny because no. at the same time, I, at 8.30, I had this problem at the work. I'm like, oh, man, I got to log into the yeah. computer and start doing it. I'm like, hopefully I get it done before uh, 9 o'clock comes for the show. And then my brother called. He didn't he didn't show up. He called and wanted to talk. I'm like, look, man, I'm going on live in like two minutes. So, yeah. so what do you got to say? Because... Uh, <laughs> My, okay. my brother actually showed up for an awesome reason. So uh, you might remember I talked about this. I got this awesome monitor here in front of me for gaming and shit like that. I have a 32-inch. Uh, it's like 185 uh, millisecond response time uh, LG like super monitor. And the reason I have this one now is because I previously had one and it just died one day. So I ended up buying a replacement. And I gave the old one to my brother and said, see if you can fix it. He's had it for almost a year now. The other day, he actually took some time and just played around with it and found out there was a uh, burnt out bad resistor on the motherboard, a uh, capacitor on the motherboard, replaced it. So the reason he dropped over today was to give me back my original monitor. So now uh, I'm going to have two these giant 32-inch wow. monitors here rocking on my desk instead so, of my 32 and my 20, uh, 20, uh, 24 over there. So you're going to have a, like a little cave. You're going to just... Turn oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna be so immersed going forward. It's good stuff, man. All right, so there is a little bit more at games news. We've been talking about this for the last uh, couple shows. Twenty six was supposed to be the deadline for the Gottlieb pinball packs. I think that was already delayed at that point. That well, we didn't know exactly when it was coming out, but uh, the pinball packs were supposed to be coming out tomorrow. Looks like it's actually gonna be later this week. They need a little bit extra, extra time to uh, get everything ironed out. Probably while we're seeing the delay with Pinball Net as well. So uh, for those of you that were super excited about tomorrow, looks like we are going to need a little bit more time. So expect an update later on this week on the Gottlieb table packs. Doesn't look like they're going to be available tomorrow either, unfortunately. Dubs, were you excited to get your hands on those Gottlieb packs tomorrow and see what they were like? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that aren't fans of those... Uh... Those Gottlieb games, but you know, I love the I like, Gottlieb games. I, I like, I've always liked playing virtual Gottlieb games. Um, just hopefully, uh, hopefully they're good. When they they were always out. too floaty for me, it, you know. Yeah, uh, did, yeah. I was never, you, I was never a fan. Did you try them after the update they did, Carl? Yeah. Uh, oh, probably not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 when was the last time you turned on your ALP? <laughs> I I had it on, and I was playing some of them. I had to get it because I had took out my memory card yeah or the usb thing and i'm like where are all my games at oh i gotta so i had to redo that so i i did play a few of the games uh probably yeah. about a, a month ago but prior to that you know i'm vpx and even though I, I i have vpx and fx3 on this computer and this thing is literally hooked up to it i i just hadn't got time to program the buttons right you know to make everything work i just go over to my trusty toy shop and just play vpx Matter of fact, uh, after our show last night, even though, uh, last Friday, I was so tired, I still went over there and played like another hour of some pinball after I got off. And that, that woke me up, kept me up to about two o'clock in the morning. So uh, I got a funny story for you. I went to pick up my MK Deluxe from the Brick a couple weeks ago, and um, uh, it was late at night. 
couldn't get the guy to come and let me in because the way it works is you have to go to the side door and they bring it out through this like um uh, it's almost like a factory uh you know drop off they open up the giant doors and you pick the unit up from the back instead of you know you just getting it in store while i was in the back area i found a toy shack black hole demo unit just wrapped up there just sitting there in the u in the space so it was it was like a blast from the past seeing that and i don't did they ever make it stateside the black hole gottlieb uh actual regular size tables yeah yeah the regular size ones uh, not the small not, ones not the yeah. not the desktop tabletop ones yeah I, I got to play the i got to play the um oh what was it toy shock pinball just once and playing it after already experiencing the ALP and the arcade one-up pinballs, man, that poor company was dead in the water once those came out. There was nothing they could really do. Yeah, I mean they, I mean you have to admit they were, they they had a good idea. They got it. They got it out there first, but other people made it better. So. Yeah. Sadly, sadly. All right. A couple more updates. So uh, we talked about this on Super Game Room, dudes. Snoopy emails are going out right now. So uh, be interesting to hear because I know these are shipping pretty quickly. After you do your payments, people usually have them in three or four days. I think we should see people with actual Snoopy units in hand within the next week. So I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. people coverage on that. And then also the Dinosaur Dynasty stuff went out. Uh, we got a delay with Star Wars, I think, and I don't know about this, but Logistics yeah. recently went out on uh, the At Games Pinball 4KP tables. So that's out now. Let me just go back and take a look at this because I think there was an update with this Logistics for this. So uh, pre order date 11 23, payment links to be sent on April 5th, uh, 24. And, yeah, that's the new date. So yeah. you're looking at April 5th, 2024 for those. And uh, March 29th for Attack from Mars. That's really super exciting. And let me know in the comments if you guys ordered a Star Trek Attack from Mars or a Snoopy. Uh, if you I'm gonna, got your pre-order uh, for the Snoopy kit yet. We were, we were talking about this on Friday in Super Game Room, dudes. Like, out of the five skins they've announced so far, if I didn't pre-order... Um, Adam's family, I probably would have got the Snoopy one. Like, I've had, like, the arcade one-up Attack from Mars. Like, keep in mind, the art, the At Games Attack from Mars is probably the best-looking overall. But yeah. I think I I think I would have got the Snoopy one if I didn't pre-order Adam's family. I, I just think they did a fantastic job on the renders that we've seen. And like we talked about on uh, Friday, I can't wait until somebody posts some real videos or pictures of it so we can kind of see what that... I think it's going to look great. Like, I mean, that bright yellow pinball machine, I think it's going to look really cool. So I'm waiting for you guys out there to post some videos and pictures so I can see. Maybe I'll trade. Maybe I'll trade Adam's family for Snoopy. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to see what it looks like. So, um, yeah. And, and then maybe, maybe after they get through shipping these things in April, maybe... If you think about it, if all these things are going to ship by April, does that mean come May... Or June, they'll announce new skins. You know, it kind of makes sense. They announced a bunch, and it's like, hey, let's get all these out, and then put up new skins for pre-order, right? Like new variants. So we'll see. We'll see. Carl, uh, remember earlier, someone asked this question: so of the arcade cabinets we would get if we got a top three. So knowing the full list of Zen uh, Zen's library for their pinball FX. What would be your number one skin for At Games to do from the Zen library? Well, they've already done it, and that's the uh, Tech of Mars. Good yeah, man. That, I yeah, love Carl. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, I've been talking about Pinball 2.0 since they came out with this thing, and I, I like the shape of the cat. I really would. If, if I, we talked earlier about upgrading my Golden T to the latest version. If I could upgrade anything in here, it would be to get rid of my hobbled, broken, ALP with the Bobby Vu unused back <laughs> splash uh, back box and my uh, uh, thing not working. I have to use my joystick up here oh, to launch the ball. You know what I mean? I would and see that I can very easily get in here, right? This one disappears. That one's in. My wife doesn't know any different. See that that then I can work out. You know, I, it'd be harder to get that one through the window, but I would try uh, to sneak that in. 
for the people who haven't seen my sneak in uh, video. But yeah, that that I would do at a heartbeat is to replace this one with the with the 4K with the um, the, the skin of the um, uh, ex, ex, what's it? Attack from Attack Mars. from Mars. So if yeah. that's if that's the one your heart's set on. Why haven't you jumped on it yet? Is it uh, you're cautious to see how everything works? You want to get them to get the bugs and the kinks out before you're willing to plunk your money down? No, I mean, you cannot believe how much money I've spent on this ALP, <laughs> and, it, and 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 it's not even working. I don't even use it, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Bobby Blue, I think I told you a story. I shipped my original box. It got smashed to smithereens, so I had to buy a new one from. Our, our from at games and have that shipped to his house and then to get this and it was just it was just ridiculous how much money i've spent on this thing i bought two of those boards right the original one before the bibs board came out uh and then the second one and I, mean, I, I just put so much money it's just it's just and i gotta play the arc the update game and the login game uh it just it's just too much it's too much you know i i can't go to if, if i spent all this money I'm not guaranteed that I won't still have to play these games, right? Uh, and have to live with that decision of, of all the money I spent. So it's 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 a it's a difficult thing for me to to put some money into a at, at games product just because it's not all their fault. It's just that's the reality of my my Your life experience with, yeah. with my with the ALP. Uh, yeah. So I'm not ready to I'm not ready to open that door. <laughs> you know. It's the forbidden door, like wrestling. Uh, P Dubs, what about you? If you your could... account has been logged out, please log in. I just logged oh, in. Oh yeah, See, you know, I just yeah. really logged in. I, I had, to, I had to. Out. That's why I moved my At Games products back up in the office. That's a hundred percent why, because I couldn't keep into my account when I was down in the basement with them. Like they just kept logging me out. Since they've been back up here, right next to the router, mm -hmm. clockwork. Every time I turn it on, I'm logged in. I never have to log log in again when I go in. I'm just logged in. Like it used to be. So that's 100% why my At Games units are back upstairs again. Uh, P Dubs, what about you? Uh, any skin Zen did, what would be the ideal one for you? Any game Zen did, At Games releases a skin, what would be your absolute favorite one? Uh, I've been probably since day one of, of the partnership, I've been advocating for an Indiana Jones theme. Ooh, one. yeah, that's a good one. Um, but seeing as to what they did with star trek it makes me worry that it would be original uh, artwork not yeah. not the actual indiana jones of the pinball adventure artwork which provided it looks cool because the funny thing is is even though the adams family doesn't look like the original adams family pinball game personally i like the artwork on it i like the green coloring to it and you know i think it looks i think that it looks really cool considering it's not the original machines artwork but yeah you know, it's going to, but you never know. They could come up with an original design that looks bad. Oh, you yeah. Know, like, like, look at Star Trek, right? <laughs> and they had to go back and fix it, right? So, I mean, for me, I think Indiana Jones, um, you know, Indiana Jones, if they do a Back to the Future one, that would be kind of cool looking. But we'll see. Star Wars is going to be interesting if they do a Star Wars one. Because they yeah. are the, the the little leak list on their website had uh, the Mandalorian, so it makes me think. Of, and I I wouldn't want a Mandalorian skin. Like, I like the Mandalorian TV show, but I'd rather have it be like a Return of the Jedi theme table or Empire Strikes Back theme table. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to see any of the new new. I want to see the people that we fell in love with between 1977 and 1983. I don't want to see any of these other sequel babies on there you know what i mean stuff like that uh i i would really like a back to the future table um but i mean my heart is always going to be with i want to see real pinball table recreation so attack from sure. mars also my number one i'm right there with carol but i know people want uh you know they want that uh twilight zone uh they want uh, medieval madness so there's lots of options well, out there what, what i think it is is when you talk about some of those games like attack from mars or medieval madness or uh what's what's a couple of the other ones like arabian monster nights. bash no not even monster bash like arabian nights like when i think of those three games for some reason i feel like they could make 
the original artwork happen because it might be cheaper to do so, right? Easier yeah. to license. I mean, why do you think both Arcade One Up and At Games got to do the actual Attack from Mars artwork on the machines? But when it comes to like all the other Williams games that we love, like Adam's Family, Twilight Zone, Indiana Jones, like Creature from the Black Lagoon, like for some reason I think we're not going to spend the money on the artwork licensing or it might be difficult to do so. So it's going to have to be like, I think if they did a twilight zone table, I think it just like Adam's family, it would be an original twilight zone artwork on it. It wouldn't be the original machine, but if I, when it comes to like medieval madness and Arabian nights and some others, I think they could do a one-to-one -one recreation probably wouldn't cost as much money. to do So, so. I, I actually talked to PK after Adam's family because I did that video talking about original versus recreation. And he wrote me and he told me, he said, um, and I, I'm probably not allowed to say this, but I don't say it anyways, probably shouldn't. But uh, what it was, was it wasn't actually that they um, there was a licensing issue money-wise. It was that the licensor had changed their graphics. They wanted their product now to be represented with what they did was in studios so they were against using the original artwork they wanted to protect their brand with more recent imaging and that's the reason zen had to do the updated look for it that's the reason at games did the updated look and it's the same thing with konami like i know konami doesn't want to pay sega but they rebranded frogger and they don't want frogger going out there unless it has their new rebranded look for whatever friggin reason it is Ooh. Yeah, I say the same thing. So, yeah. I think I think we'd be safe with something like uh, even Cirque Voltaire. It's not a popular title, but what a beautiful pinball machine. Uh, but uh, yeah, anytime Indiana Jones or Back to the Future, well, more so Indiana Jones or any of these licensed Williams games they've done, you're running a risk that the actual license holder themselves might not want the original artwork because it doesn't represent their property today. Mm. Well. Either way, it is what it is, man. Yeah, that's it. So anyways, guys, that's the At Games updates. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, just poor Carl, Shuffle Golf got canceled. Um, by the looks of it, or the sounds of it, maybe it's best that it did because God only knows Wait, what the quality of the product will you be. You didn't talk about that already? I joined an hour in. You didn't talk about Shuffle Golf? No, I did show this picture. I don't know if you saw this, but uh, we did do an update on what 19K Fox talked about on his show last night. So this is 19K Fox's show last night. Uh, you can see 19K Fox and the other gentlemen, they tag team the Nova Blast unit. And uh, on 19K Fox's show last night, the summary is Unico good, John D good, Arcade one up bad. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Ryan Berger from Old School Magazine. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, fine. I, I'm sorry. I, I noticed this earlier. So uh, you're probably a lot of people might get the joke. They might not get the joke. Just look at like Fox's face. He's like, hey. Oh, my God. I just I just <laughs> no, wait. Hold on. I just I just noticed you put Brazzers on there. I just saw that. I was like, what are you talking about? What's the big deal? <laughs> now it all makes sense. Now it it's trying all... to be subtle. To be <laughs> now subtle. it. Now it all makes sense. I totally missed it the first time. Because I was looking at it earlier when I first saw the picture, and I was like, why do those dudes look like they're about to double team Eiffel Tower at Nova Blast? They were, they, were, they were very, they were standing very close to the Nova Blast. Very, and Fox had a very sultry look on his face. Very sultry. He was, Fox was given the smolder in that shot. So yeah. something was happening there. Something was happening there. All right. Anyways, that's all I got, uh, unless there's any questions. I'd like to do an after show, but a free after show where people can ask questions and talk to me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd like to ask a question. Carl, yeah, how sure. are you dealing how are you dealing with the uh, with the shuffle golf news? I know it's been I know it's been rough the last week. Uh I I've gotten over it. Good. You know? It's, it's uh, it was pretty disappointing, and uh, yeah, I would consider listening to them if they come up with something else. But I told you, I felt like Ross Perot again. You know, it's like I was ready to give you my boat, and then uh, then you just bailed out on me. You know, so um, so yeah, I'm I'm uh, I, I was just lost for words. It was it was 
it was bad because I was excited again. Like I told Michael B, I can't just bring a cabinet down here because the wife says no more cabinets down here. But that wasn't the cabinet, you know. I know that was a legitimate. And it was gonna, it was only gonna weigh, it was only gonna weigh less than thirty pounds. It was gonna come in a small flat pack box. You could have snuck that thing in. Yeah, I could have put that in my with this uh, shirt here. I could have just put it in my waist, you know. She would have been like. Is that new? This old thing? What are yeah, you talking this about? This old thing. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come down here more often. Guys, guys, say hello to Shotgun Sean. And honestly, I don't tell a lot of people this, but if you follow anybody on Facebook, follow Shotgun Sean. He is a meme king, man. <laughs> you gotta yeah. I laugh funniest, every day seeing his shit. Funniest, funniest guy on Facebook, that's for sure. Yeah, 100%. And he's got a show tomorrow night. Him and Rascal will do a really cool community show. Jason, if you're there in the chat, I don't know if you wanted to pop on Rascal's channel, if you could do that for me. I don't usually ask you to do much, but uh, check out uh, that gaming show every Tuesday night. Great group of guys, great community, good people. Go check them out. Yeah, you know, before Michael finally invited me to the show, I, I would go on their show all the time and see a shotgun shot in, in the game. So I yeah. definitely recommend you guys checking them out as well. Oh, you're all here now. So now I can uh, and now I can overtake this and talk about VR gaming. So Dubs, I finally started playing my Oculus headset today. I had some we fun. We talked with it. about this on No Friday. no 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 but I, I've had time to actually play it. I have an update. He on opened it. it up. He didn't open it. I opened Friday. it up. I charged it up. I added a bunch of games to it and I played a bunch of games uh in the last little while. I played Asgard's Wrath, really super cool, really immersive, and I only got through the, like, the opening. Uh, I also played Ghostbusters. Have you played that Rise of the Ghost Lord yet? Mm -mm. No. Am I the only person doing VR gaming anymore? Am I the only person still living in 2001? <laughs> mine, mine, my Meta Quest 2 is downstairs, and I haven't put it on in ages. It's been a long time. I'm just oh, so man. busy. I just haven't I had a chance to do it. And then my house has been torn apart, put back together, torn apart again. Like, like trying to find a six foot area to stand in. You know, what I mean, it has has become a challenge. I, I play sitting down. That's what I've been doing so far. The solitary, I think it's called. Oh no, I, I'd rather stand up and do the VR stuff. Oh, I you're probably. You're probably playing get, the dirty games like Carl. I want to yeah. get a rig like VR, uh, VR Paradise. <laughs> uh, you guys remember Ready Player One, right? Like yeah. where the kid in the beginning, like he goes in, in the junk pile. He's got that van hidden there and it's got like the treadmill on it and stuff. You know what I mean? Like I want to get one of those. Like that'd be kind of cool. Like, you know. So I, I started playing. Um, Quest 3S is coming out with a better processor at 249 let me uh let me really reference this quick it was a cheap opportunity to jump back into the vr gaming space and honestly i could play most of the quest 3 games on my quest 2 already and this was this is like a trial run eventually i will get a quest 3 once enough stuff comes out to justify the upgrade and once the price is going down for canada yeah. and they're going to come out with the quest 4 do you know how much maple syrup i have to sell to buy a quest 2 like, it's absorbent. Michael, you have to get Crisis Brigade, too. Crisis Brigade? You're right. Brigade, yeah. too. Yeah. It's like Time Crisis, but in VR. It's okay. very I'll affordable, and it's a lot of fun. And I want to see your... Uh, I want you to take a picture when you get done. You're going to be all sweaty. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what I did try, and this is one of the reasons why VR made me a little bit nervous. I experienced it today. I started playing Iron Man VR, and oh, there's this flying mode. Oh, it, yeah. It's really cool, but yeah. man, oh man, it's hard to control that flying. Like I, I did the, just the practice thing about fifteen times, and I still wasn't very good at it. Oh yeah, it takes some practice to do to yeah. use the the, the controller. The hands controller, to but, fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you get it, man, that is that is. Oh yeah. You you feel like you're flying, man. Yeah. Like it, it's still a little cartoony for it to be really immersive yet. Like you're in a mm -hmm. cartoon world. Right. I can't wait till they get to the point with VR where it's like. Um, the same like PlayStation 5 is right, now. Sometimes right. you're playing yeah. PlayStation 5 and it's indistinguishable with the real world. That's where I want VR to be. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. I gotta I guess I gotta charge my stuff and turn it on. You guys are giving me that that itch. That I the FOMO. Charge. Yeah, that's it. It's just I've been so busy with everything else, I just haven't got to it. You know, like hell, I have like an analog pocket here that I barely touched. You know what I mean? Like it sucks when you have stuff and 
you can't get to it. <laughs> I'm right yeah, with you. I was gonna, I was gonna do, I was gonna. One second, Carl. I was gonna. No. Sorry, I know I cut you off all the time. No, I was gonna do, all the time. All the I time. was gonna do a Steam Deck OLED review when I first got it. <laughs> get back in here. I was gonna do a Steam Deck OLED review when I first got it. Now I'm in the process. I'm doing it like a six months later review. <laughs> I actually made a Steam Deck review thumbnail that I made, and I never got a chance to film the review. I was so busy. And then I did a Steam Deck 12 months later, one year later thumbnail, Mike. I was going to yeah. do a one year later video. <laughs> never got a chance to film it. Yeah. So now uh, now, I'm at, now we're at what? 15, 16 months? It'll be like the 16 month later video. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I got the perfect headline for you. Why I opted to keep my Steam Deck instead of upgrading to the OLED. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but what I was starting to say with VR, it, you you really have to prepare, right? You got to have some space. Got to be clear, especially when you got kids that your age. It, it, you you're not gonna have enough clear yeah. space without stumbling over kids under your leg. So it's, so it, it makes it. VR difficult because in my in my space I got two locations my man cave if it's clear and there's always something out there and upstairs in the family room but the wife's always got that that's her domain right so so the to, to, to be able to fit into that space uh, is is not the easiest thing to do when you I feel like doing it but I'll have the space so you know yeah so, i remember those days yeah that's been I, a while I, we missed those days yeah now he just comes in like this <laughs> i'm here bitches this is the best episode of super game room dudes ever i mean it's so good when Rostalgia's not here <laughs> speaking of vr gaming do you remember when Rostalgia did those football segments <laughs> So the, the how many of you guys remember Rostalgia two weeks in a row talking about the football game, right? And I was teasing him offline because that's what you do. You bust each other's balls. That's what happens when you're friends, right? And I was like, so Rostalgia, was this the first time you've ever been on a football field? You remember Rostalgia? It's like, no, nah, man, I was, I was like all pro in high school, you know? <laughs> like Rostalgia, you've never thrown a football in real life. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> I said, show me, you know how, like, when you're on a football team, they, what do you always do? You take pictures every year in your uniform, you're on your knee on the field, you know, with a little football, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, send me some pictures. It's been six months. I'm still waiting for Rostalgia to send me the pictures proving that he played football. Yeah. Rostalgia could start a whole new YouTube channel called Tall Tales with Rostalgia. My <laughs> life. <laughs> this week in reunion family yeah. reunion. <laughs> anyways yeah i think i think uh yeah let's get back into some stuff i, I wanted to say carl y y you're right about that i've been playing stationary because i'm lazy and i don't want to clear out a space but the other night i was playing here in front of my pc and i was playing ghostbusters and i didn't think about it like you have to reach out and grab mm -hmm. stuff in the vr environment so i was here and then all of a sudden i was in the vr world right and then I'd reach out and punch my computer. I was like, oh, God, what did I just do? And I'd have to lift up my visor and find out, like, what was blocking me. So, yeah, it's it's wild. It's a lot to get used to, and you really do got to clear that area out. Did I, did I knock over a monitor on, on somebody's You did. Show? <laughs> <laughs> I knocked over my cup of coffee the other night when I was playing Ghostbusters. That was one of the ones I did, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, VR is super fun. I'm pretty it happy is. with that. It is. Absolutely. Tons of fun. Yeah, guys. Well, anyways, hour and 30 minutes. I say we pull the plug here now. Carl, do you want to see us out on this awesome episode? Of P, -dub, P Dubs came here specifically to close the show. That's what I he don't came close here for. the show. That's yeah. you. That's you. Mm -mm. I, don't, I, I close only one show. That's a super game room dude. So oh. you don't even close your own show. Is it nope. just like nope. continuously going? It just goes and then I'm sleeping. <laughs> and then YouTube just cuts me off. Can, can you uh, can you actually stream your VR? Have you guys done that? Like, I know you can record video from it, but have you tried you know what, streaming you know what, your play? Uh, the only thing I ever did was, yeah, I recorded. No, I think I streamed live to my Facebook one time. I was playing, I think, the Vader game. Yeah. Uh, I love those Vader games, by the way. Those are fantastic. Oh, I got those. I got those. Yeah, those are so good. I, pl I played through, beat all those. Those were incredible. What an experience. 
yeah. uh, playing those games. Um, but do us a favor, guys. Make sure you leave us. Wait, hold on. I'm screwing this up. How do you how do you close your shows, Mike? So, uh, guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. I had a bunch of fun. I'm so glad Carl made himself available to come on the show. Carl, it's uh, been too long since you came on. And P-Dubs, thanks for surprising us. So let me uh, do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already, go check out my good friend Carl, Detroit Love. He is one of the absolute nicest guys on the Internet. And one of the biggest reasons I wanted to have him on here tonight is he's also one of those guys, never been jaded by this community. He's just here to have fun. That's what we should be doing. Carl's the best. Go check out his stuff. Uh, his last stream he did where he was heartbroken by the cancellation of Shuffle Golf. But, Carl, uh, what do you got? You got anything in the pipeline? Anything you're working on, interested in? Nope, just waiting for this weather to break so I can get out of here and don't have to make a video until December. I, I think about you every time I see an e-bike. <laughs> seeing you in cleveland remember that like p-dubs we'd wake up at like you know nine o'clock ten o'clock carl had already be out for a three-hour drive on his e-bike and he'd come down the road flying <laughs> yeah I, I remember looking out the window of the uh air airbnb and seeing carl going down the street it was a verbal it was a verbal uh, vrbo riding with no hands just you know rocking out just enjoying life so you gotta get out Make there sure you get life baby Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up on your way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing and joining us this evening. We'll be live on my channel in about three minutes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Okay. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Good night, gentlemen. I never know where my outro is. Yeah, so track and field is totally real. Like, Arcade 1-Up gave me the deets. Track and field will be out March 29th pre-order. Oh, my God, we're still...